Well, moving on to our next segment, we want to go back to, uh, again, Bob Davidson. And this is Bob's last uh, time to do this, to tell us uh, how much money we can save by going to uh, buy his dollar store treasures so that we have more money to donate to the New Tracks Modeling Mentoring Scholarship Fund. Oh, boy. Welcome, I, Bob. Yeah, I knew you were going to tie that in somehow. <laughs> Oh boy, Let's share our screen and let's get this thing going. <laughs> ah. Well, again, welcome to Dollar Store Treasures for Model Railroaders, uh, my weekly visit to the local dollar store shop. Let, let's have a little fancy introduction. Look at that. And again, everything uh, that you'll see tonight came out of the Dollar Tree shop. Uh, not necessarily this one. Um, so starting off tonight in the hardware aisle, I was walking down uh, the other day and look what I found, some electronics duster, basically compressed air uh, or compressed nitrogen. But uh, for a buck and a quarter, it has the little, you can see the little uh, tube on the right that you stick into the orifice and the, and the trigger and you need to dust something off, clean, you know, reach back on the layout to get rid of some dust. Uh, again, for a dollar and a quarter, it's a lot cheaper than what you're going to find in the hardware store. So, uh, oh, then going down the kitchen aisle, I think I got a couple of things here. Heavy duty scouring pads. I use these to burnish stuff. Uh, if you, if you don't want it, you know, um, Tom Farrell has shown a lot about how he uses, uh, his kind of custom exacto blades to do his scoring on some lumber, but sometimes you just want to rough something up. And uh, these are, are much heavier, uh, much coarser than the typical green block that you may get for cleaning dishes. So uh, these are really neat. And I do use these to uh, kind of score, score up paint, scratch off paint if you want to get down to an undercoating to do some aging and stuff like that. So, and I think you get uh, four of them. I think they're about uh, four inches by six inches. Um, and you get four of them for a buck and a quarter. So not a bad deal. Further down that aisle, or this was in the kitchen aisle, actually, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess that's where we are. Uh, the parchment paper, if you recall back when I was doing my workshop tips and tricks, I talked about using parchment paper over a metal sheet with magnets to make up jigs uh, and templates. And the neat thing is, is uh, most glue will not stick to parchment paper. I tried it with uh, white, not only the white glue and wood glues, but also with, uh, with um, you know, the uh, super glues. Uh, it, it just doesn't stick to parchment. So this is a, a big roll of it. And I think the last time I paid about six bucks on Amazon just to get it. And again, a buck and a quarter, you get a, 20 foot roll and it's uh, 12 inches wide. So it certainly is large enough to, you know, cut off a piece and, and use it uh, underneath uh, your assembly. So, and then in the back to school aisle, um, uh, I use white chalk a lot and I just scrape it off and that gives me some dusting to do some weathering on stuff. And this is enough chalk that'll last me the rest of my life. Uh, it's a hundred sticks of chalk in this box, uh, again, for a dollar. So buy a box, you can share it with everybody, you know, and you'll still have more than you'll ever use. <clears throat> so there's just a lot of stuff right now. There's a lot of back to school stuff in the springtime. If you remember, we had some great little clamps that they had because they're used in gardening. So, uh, it pays to go by every month or so and just see what they have at the store. So. I do want to thank, I've gotten a lot of kind words from, from many of you uh, about uh, some of the items that you've seen here. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think we're uh, as impressive as, as doing some of the uh, bits and pieces stuff that Gary was, Shergo was, was showing us how to get stuff for totally free, but it's pretty close at a dollar and a quarter. So I do appreciate it. And uh we're going to take a few weeks off here, a month or so off, and uh, we'll be back. And uh, some of the workshops will be coming back. We're going to look at, so uh, we're going to do a few weeks on soldering. And then I also hope to do a few weeks on 
laser cutting as well as uh, 3D printing. So both filament and then uh, also resin. So we'll see you later in the fall. Jim, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate uh, the opportunity to help out and save everybody some money. All right, I thank you so much for doing these. They've been great and everybody seems to enjoy them. So uh, I wish you a happy vacation and, and look forward to seeing you later. You're welcome. Thanks so much, Bob.